Hey guys, it's Dave here from Diddy Drums. Welcome to this lesson on how to play Thunderstruck by ACDC on drums. Now, if you want to get a copy of the drum parts, you can from the description section below. It's got all the drum parts we cover in today's lesson. Now, the song is played 134 BPM, so it's a pretty quick song. And for that reason, I'm going to show you a special technique to use on the hi-hats to keep up with this tempo because it's a pretty quick song. Now, the Intro, intro parts in the hi-hat sounds like this. So the special technique I'm talking about there is on the one, two, three, four count, where to go one, two, three, four. So you're gonna use the shoulder of the stick, okay? But for all the ends, you can use the tip of the stick like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That means on the way down, shoulder, on the way up, tip. So one and two and three and four and. That can take some while to get, but for this whole song, that's what I'm going to recommend. That's a technique you use for the hi hat. I mean, yes, you can just play all like this. That would probably work as long as you're using the wrists and some fulcrum too. But you know, the sound that you know, ACDC is going for is more the, the shoulder tip, shoulder tip. Now, let's go through the intro groove. Now, the intro groove sounds like this. And keep in mind, it's a two-bar section, okay? Here's how it sounds. So basically got on the count one, two of the first bar, it's gonna using the floor tom, tom, one, and a bass drum. And then the rest of it is three and four and one and two and three and four and. The bass drum is laying on the count four, the two, and the four. And you see we're going back to that hi-hat pattern. Like that. All right. You can you know, play it all accented if you want to. That's cool. But the ACDC sound, it's going to you know, be more like that. Now, some drum kits will have like two floor toms like this one. You, know, you could probably play that part like this. But most drum kits are going to have the, the floor tom, you know, one tom, tom one here, and a bass drum, so. Or the other sound. Both options are cool, whichever way you want to go. Now the verse groove is slightly different. It's basically playing the same idea, but not as much of the floor toms. So basically what we have happening there is three bars of playing this. One and two and three and four and. 
three bars are doing that, but then the, the fourth bar is going. That's all it is. And that last part of the verse is like a 10 bar section, okay? Here's how that sounds. Now, most of that 10 bar section, most of those bars are the same, just going one and two and three and four. And. But the bars that are a little bit different is bar number five, which is going. It's a little bit different there. I, I guess instead of just putting the, the bass drum, it's also got the toms. That's all it is. Now, bar nine is a little bit different because it takes away the bass drum. It's got one and two. Okay. And then bar 10 is probably the most different because that's where there's an actual fill, which sounds like this. So you get a hi-hat, a flam on the snare, bass drum, flam on the snare, bass drum, and then flam on the snare. But the timing is a little bit different. In fact, bars 9 and 10 together would be... That's all that section is. Now, once again, if you want to get a copy of the transcription of today's lesson, get from the description section down below. It's got all the drum parts we're covering. Now, the main part of the song, probably you know, 70% of the song, is just playing a main groove. And here's how the main groove sounds. So, pretty basic beat, right? You've, you've all heard this beat, but the, what I really want you to focus on in this beat is the hi-hat going one and two and three and four. And. Because if you have any trouble with the beat, it's generally going to be because of the, the hi-hat, you know, your right hand getting tired. So, you know, just, just think. One and two and three and four. And. Okay, bass drum on one, three, snare on two and four. A bit slower. Now, if you're not going to use that technique of the shoulder tip, just make sure you're using the wrist and not the arm, because that's where it can get very tiring playing a beat like this, where you're like, yeah, that's where you get really tired. So make sure you're using the wrist and some of the fulcrum too. Another thing that helps with keeping the the right hand moving along is don't don't raise the right hand or right stick so high. Keep it lower. Because if you're up here, that can get oh, really tiring. Your, your arm is probably going to feel like it wants to fall off, right? Now, another thing too is sometimes there's a crash cymbal on the count one of the beat, which would sound like this. So that's going to happen on the count one when you add the crash symbol. And be sure when you play the crash symbol, you know, use the, the shoulder of the stick on the symbol. Like that. Now there's also the, the snare drum feel, which happens in conjunction with the main beat, which sounds like this. Now that feel, it's just a, 
two snares. That happens a few times throughout the song. The next part we're going to look at is the bridge section, which is using the floor tom, snare and bass drum. And it goes over eight bars. Here's how it sounds. With that part there, you probably want to count what's going on out loud or in your head, all right? Another thing that helps to keep time is just playing the left foot as well. But that might be easier said than done. It does take a little bit extra coordination, but it's definitely a good habit to get into. Now, the last part we're going to go through in today's lesson is the, the breakdown. Now, the breakdown is a 10-bar section of the song, and it sounds like this. So in that section of the song, the first seven bars is just going one and two and three and four and. But then the eighth bar is a little bit different because the eighth bar takes away the bass drum on the count four. It goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the, the ninth bar is going one and two and three and four. So you got a flam on the four and. And then the last bar, the tenth bar, is going one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So the eighth, ninth, and tenth bar together would sound. And there's also that bass drum on the four E of the of the last bar. If that bass drum is too tricky, then maybe leave it out. But that's kind of what's going on there. So the whole breakdown section would sound like this. And there you go, there's all the drum parts for Thunderstruck on drums. All right, I hope you got some value from the lesson, I hope you did. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more lessons like this. And, and now, if you wanna get a copy of the transcription, all the beats that were written out for you today and played, then check it out in the description section below. It's got a copy, it'll, get you, it'll send you to a link there where you can get a copy of that yourself. All right guys, so I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Hope you're doing well and see you on the next video.